Right, I'm here at Crafts with Wendy Morris and the most beautiful dog called Fleur, who has an absolutely heartbreaking rescue story. So um, can you tell us a little bit about it, please? Um, yes, um, Fleur is a Romanian street dog and um, she was put into a public shelter. Uh, this happened about uh, two and a half years ago. Um, she had a spay that went wrong and left part of her insides, her intestines hanging out. Um, so two charities work together, one in Romania and Valgrave's Border Collie and Animal Rescue and they said that they would save this little girl. So they repaired the bodge spay, uh, she then got an infection, she got over that, um, ready to come over to England, she then got distemper, so she nearly died from that. So um, Radu in Romania nursed her back and she, she fought the distemper and she finally came to England where Val Phillips said that we could adopt her. So we had her and we only had her for three weeks and she fitted into the family really well and then one night she just collapsed, um, screaming in pain. Our vets had to do an emergency operation and they found that part of her intestines had died. They'd all rotten and was full of infection. So they removed over 60 centimetres of intestines. So we thought that was it, but no, um, she was already frail. And um, so she got an infection, she became septic. And our vet said that the best thing would be to put her to sleep. And we only had her for three weeks, so heartbroken, I, I phoned Val and I said, you know, this is the situation. And she said um, that a stranger on Facebook had said that there's um, a vet at the Royal Veterinary College that would look at her. Uh, let's have a second opinion. Our vet said she probably wouldn't even make the journey. So we, we took her um, to the Royal Veterinary College and two surgeons, five hours and two weeks in intensive care. They did pioneering surgery, uh, removed more intestines unfortunately, removed part of her stomach valve and uh, she survived and now she is a normal dog. It's absolutely amazing. She's so beautiful and, uh, you know, distemper is a horrific disease. I've seen dogs with distemper. Um, they, they have convulsions, they have tremors and some of them never get over it. I mean, she, she doesn't seem to have any ticks, or does she? No, none at all. Um, she's remarkable. Um, she acts like a, a, a puppy, actually, at the moment. She's, she's learned over the two years, she's learned to play. Um, she is, um, obviously, she's, we've had to experiment with her diet because of her stomach with it being so short and her intestines but now her um, she's taken on nutrition um, she's not really putting on weight but I don't think she ever will put on weight um, but she's a normal dog now running living life to the full do you do you think all the damage in her intestine and everything is all goes back to that botch spaying it's literally that just infected everything in the whole area it did yes I mean you know that that botch spay was the start of a of, of a catalyst that just you know went out. And, and I'm very interested in that because I've seen this a lot in Romania because um, a lot of the state shelters they get they get they're given the correct equipment to spay the dogs um, and I've heard that they flog it and they actually substitute a lot of things with like fishing wire and all sorts of stuff and I've been out in Romania myself and I've seen shelter dogs castrated males with with their testicles cut open um, and removed but not sewn back up again and then I've seen female dogs with mass infections and fishing wire inside them so it's a very very common thing which I think really needs to be tackled but she's absolutely beautiful and, and I'm so happy that you've given her a home because you really have saved her life yes. I mean there's no doubt about it little Fleur here wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for Val and if it, if it wasn't for you giving her a home so um, well done Fleur and well done everybody and really consider adopting a dog um, whether it's from England or whether it's from abroad uh, it's so easy to go and buy a puppy but you really are saving lives when you have a dog like this these these dogs would not be alive if it wasn't for these people coming forward to adopt so look into adoption places you can see them on Facebook you can see them on the internet of course we've got Val Val Gray she works out in Romania and she does a lot of adoptions so check these guys out and maybe give a dog a home